Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing one of my favorite videos which is my currently in rotation or what's in my stash right now video. So this is the spring edition and I'm really excited to just come on and just talk about my products that I'm using right now. So let's just get started because it's going to be a long list. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on the ones that I discussed already. I'm just going to link to last season's video so you can check that one out and get more information on those. I'm going to maybe briefly mention them and then talk a little bit more about the stuff that's new. Because that's what we want to see, right? The new stuff. I'm going to go like cleansers, DCs, leave-ins, stylers, butters, spritzers. Because that's how I do my hair. So I'm just going to go in that order so it's easier for everybody. So I mentioned my co-washes, Camille Rose Caramel Co-Wash, which is my favorite, She Scented Blueberry Co-Wash, which is my staple, S. Dot Hair Wash, which I love when I feel in the mood for minty scalp and when I have some on deck. In terms of shampoos, still loving the Blue Rose Creamy Rose Shampoo, which is discontinued or reformulated, and I'm still loving the Beautiful Curls Kinky to Curly Shampoo. I'm overall still on the lookout for a shampoo, really. The Blue Rose was my favorite moisturizing shampoo, I'd have been happy with that, but since it's reformulated, styling over, and I never quite found the clarifying shampoo that I really, really love. So that's all the boring stuff, that's what I was doing last video. Now to the new stuff in cleansers. So I tried two new shampoos, and unfortunately none of them were like that miracle winner shampoo that I was looking for. I still have one or two shampoos that I haven't tried yet in my stash, so that's gonna be an upcoming video. I tried the She Scented Jojoba Hem Conditioning Shampoo, and I think I didn't shake before use properly, so there was some conditioning or some separated like conditioning looking stuff on the top that I probably used, and so now this is kind of all messed up, but it is a kind of clear, slightly white shampoo, and I do tend to associate the whiteness with conditioning ingredients, but that's not necessarily true. It's just like in your head, I guess. Let me just show you the ingredients. Hope you can see that. So I did like the shampoo, but it wasn't to me a conditioning shampoo. To me, it was just a regular cleansing shampoo. It didn't strip my hair or anything, but it didn't leave it like super moisturized or anything. It was just a regular good shampoo and I'm still hoping, I'm still holding out for better. I think I prefer the beautiful curl shampoo if I had to pick a shampoo other than Blue Rose of what I currently have. So I probably would not repurchase this but I don't hate using it and I can get through it. The next new thing that I tried was the Kinky Curly Come Clean. I really was hoping that this would be the one but it so wasn't. So I hope you can see the ingredients because she makes the ingredients so ridiculously hard to see. All her labeling, like, you know, <sighs> you need glasses to see it, and I use glasses, so, but anyways, I'm going to read just some of it for you. So it says purified water, organic mandarin orange fruit, organic marigold flower, organic white willow bark, organic sea kelp, then it has some surfactants, C1416 olefin sulfonate, which I hear is a pretty rough or pretty harsh surfactant, and then cocoa betaine, which is a mid-range surfactant. It has some sea salt which is interesting. So this is supposed to be a natural moisturizing shampoo. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> but uh-uh. 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 This is like the second worst shampoo I've ever tried. The worst being the Trader Joe Tea Tree Shampoo which was the absolute craziest worst shampoo I ever tried. So the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Shampoo dried out my hair, matted my hair, shrunk my hair, freaked out my hair. It was like hell. <laughs> And this one just dried out my hair, frizzed out my hair, and freaked out my hair. So, better, but still bad. When I use a shampoo and my hair is completely stripped, my curl pattern is completely gone, it's just dry and frizzy and sticking out, I kind of panic. And that's what happened with this. I didn't use that much, and I did that a little in water, and it still did that to me. I used it because I had been using a lot of Eco Styler recently, as you know, and I just wanted to get it out my hair before I moved back to my regular life. So I wanted a clarifying shampoo, so I used this, but uh-uh. If any of my neighbors are subscribed to me, let me know, and let me know if you have any good stuff, and maybe we can swap. So that's the cleansers. The DCs, I'm totally still using the old stuff, which is the Sultanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic, the She Scented Rich Moisture, and I also have the She Scented Curl Moist and the Sultanicals Mono Moisturized Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Slip Dip. You know how her names get. I also have those, but I did talk about them in previous videos, so I'm not really going to go into them too much. You know that the Afrotastic and the Rich Moist are like 
tied for my favorite deep conditioners. I did talk about going to maybe deep conditioning every other week and I haven't really put that together properly yet but I'm on my way there so I have skipped weeks and so on and my hair is still doing all right. I'm probably going to talk about that more in my summer video when I have a little bit more experience with the every other week deep conditioning under my belt but nothing new to add for deep conditioners but I can just make them dance by the screen just so that it won't be a completely empty spot. <laughs> deep conditioners. <laughs> Okay, so now on to the good stuff. And this is like my favorite section, at least for this video, because you know how many leave-ins I've been trying lately. We're gonna talk about leave-ins. So you remember the Bakura Honey Latte Detangling Hair Milk, which I loved. It was rich and creamy, it went on really light, it gave my hair nice definition and volume. This one made me super happy. It's on the top now, it's um, one of my favorite leave-ins now. So I have this one on top, along with the she said the cocoa rose leave-in and maybe some more <laughs> the she said the cocoa rose leave-in is my existing hd this one is up there now with it and i'm gonna keep talking leave-ins to remember which other ones may have come up to that so let me give you a quick look at the ingredients it's completely great ingredients completely good stuff and i really just love how it works on my hair only problem is that this line is so expensive that I really can't buy it often so I might be able to get two things from this line a year if so much we will see what happens for Black Friday but if I do get the chance to buy some more I will okay the next um, parade the Camille Rose Kids Sunday Glaze leave in I don't know if I was throwing HG around when I used it I don't know <laughs> I've calmed down a little bit since then it's very rich and creamy but still light but not as light as the honey latte the reason that it's not an HD for me is because like I said with my hair being wiry I needed my leave-ins to be very wet to have a lot of water to it and it kind of sucked the water out of my hair not, not to make it scary but you know how if you use Eco Styler you kind of need to add more water over it or at least I do because all the water is gone by the time you're done by the time I finished applying this my hair was like where's the water so I had to put more water on top of it so because of that not really for me but if you have a like normal to high porosity i think it'll be great for you and i really enjoyed the scent and i really like how it felt in my hair like i said it felt like if i used leave-in and then followed it with oil even though i didn't but if you have fine hair and you're afraid of grease this may not be for you but if you like your butters and you like your oils definitely give this a try so next on parade the <laughs> she said let's cocoa cream leave-in which is the HD that I was telling you about just now. So I love this leave-in. Um, let me see if I can get the ingredients to you. It's a little funky, currently in stash, that's what you're gonna get. Um, <laughs> but this is, these are the ingredients. Hopefully you can see that. And this is perfect, like, I must say, I think I prefer the Bakura, because the Bakura is a little bit richer and creamier, but this rich, creamy, light, doesn't suck the water from my hair. This gives great definition. I think the Bakura just gives more volume. I don't understand it, but the Bakura gives me like volume with it, like life with it, in a weird way. Yeah, I'm so glad the Bakura is my new HD. But you can't really have an HD you can't afford, can you? I don't know, it's like natural hair metaphysics now. So this is like, you know, at least second, and at least I can afford it. I love using it, and I'm gonna do a video using it soon. I have so many leaves. <laughs> okay, then the cranberry cream cocktail from She Scented. So these are the ingredients, it's all good stuff and I do love this as well. It's not as rich and creamy as the cocoa cream leave-in but it's a wonderful fruity scent, has lots of slip, like they all have lots of slip, like all the leave-ins that I mentioned so far. But this one is light, creamy, great scent, has lots of slip and it's just a really great spring, summer, fall um, leave-in. It has glycerin so this one is another one that only comes out to play in the spring and I don't use it in the winter. Basically, all the she scented leave-ins, as much as I love them, they come out to play in the spring due to the glycerin. More she scented, yes, yes. I tried this one, the Coconut Quench Daily Moisturizer. So it says moisturizer, but it's pretty much a leave-in. I think any of the she scented products, the moisturizers and so on, you can use as a leave-in because their products are really light and they really seal the cuticle and really um, define your curls and everything. Basically, I use it as a leave-in. I liked it, but I may not get it again. I mean, with any brand, you're gonna just pick your favorites, absolute favorites to buy, right? 
or second, you know, you want a little variety, but you're going to pick like a top couple. And my top couple for now is still going to be, I believe, the cocoa cream and the cranberry cocktail. So I'm probably going to try this one next to the cranberry cocktail so that I can pick a second place between the two of them because they might be close. So that could be an upcoming video. After that, guess what? Mushy scented. Yes, we had a good season. So I had the others before. I think I got these on Black Friday. They were both fun to use. They were lighter, like runnier than the ones that I mentioned before. So I'm probably gonna stick with the ones that I mentioned before, but I'm definitely not mad at using this again. And I really enjoyed using it. I think I used this one in my five minute wash and go video, which I don't think I put out yet, but you know, if you have to do a wash and go in five minutes, this is a good one to use. Because <laughs> it was really light and I really defined my curls and it really spread really easily. And this one I also enjoyed in a wash and go. This one is a little bit thicker. So I guess if I had to pick one, I would go for this. Now I don't like thick products at all, but like she said, it is pretty runny. So thicker for her means runny for everybody else. Very light, let's say since that has a better connotation. So if I had to pick one to repurchase, I'd probably repurchase this and use it as a leave-in. I tried her rinse out as rinse out, but I feel like for me, I want a little bit heavier of a rinse out. I don't like heavy rinse out. Like I use like Giovanni Smoother Silk, but I just wanted to have a little more oomph in the way of creaminess. But I would, I do buy her rinse outs to use as leave-in. So this one is the conditioner, and you can tell it is formulated pretty much similarly to a leave-in. And then this one is her leave-in, and this leave-in kind of made me a liar because I always thought, well, if it goes water, then BTMS is going to be too heavy for me. But she managed to make a water, then BTMS leave-in that was still extremely runny and light. So it still worked well for me in terms of giving my hair what it needed water because my hair is wiry and doesn't really hold on to water like extremely low porosity she gives my hair water as well as seal my cuticle and give me moisture so and slip so definitely a winner am i done yes i am done talking about she scented leave-ins finally the next thing you saw me try was the Ignis essential citrus fusion conditioner i don't think i've posted my actual wash and go video with it yet but I did post a review. I'm going to post the link below of all the reviews because I have reviews for a few of these. You can check that out. But basically I used this as a fur conditioner only wash and go. And I really loved it. It was moisturizing. The slip wasn't perfect like I said. It smelled great. And it gave me a really, really nice conditioner only wash and go. If I'm at Sally's and they have that two for three going on and I'm feeling PJ, I'll repurchase this. But do I need it in my life? Not really. I can probably live without it. It was just another great product. Of which I have a lot, as you can see. I was going to show you the ingredients, but Sally's. They always like to block out the ingredients, and I'm not in the mood to like dig it up right now. But I'll post a link to the Eden website down below. Last but not least, in my new leave-ins, I really did go crazy. Well, the cranberry cocktail and the cocoa cream aren't new. Those were from last year. But most of these leave-ins were new. <laughs> but last but not least, in the new leave-ins, I have the Curls to Go Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. Just posted a review on this, so you can get the full details of that. But these are the ingredients and as usual it's good stuff, like anything that I post most likely it's good stuff. The only thing that I use that isn't great in terms of ingredients is like Eco Styler and I don't use that often, like maybe a couple times a year. So I love this leave-in, it has guar gum like in the top 5 ingredients, so it's more like a light styling cream than a leave-in, but it's still moisturizing. So it has glycerin next, water than glycerin. So a lot of people would not like that, but that also gives your hair great moisture, at least at the start, at least on wash day. So if you're ultra low porosity like me, and it's springtime, let's try it should be okay. So right now it is springtime, doing the spring rotation, and this worked really well in my hair. It really moisturized my hair, um, really defined my curls with the gum. I, I would definitely repurchase this, definitely. I just for the leave-in slash styling cream in one thing. I loved it for that. I'm going to try it by itself um, in an upcoming video because I love my hair fluffy and big. So anytime I try a leave-in that really wows me, I always want to try it by itself like without the gel. So I actually have this in my hair right now. Yeah, you know, moisturized hair and 
I really enjoy this product. And since it's in store and almost none of this is except like the Eden and Camille Rose, definitely would repurchase it. So I finally finished the new leave-ins. I'm gonna just float these by because we talked about them in the last video, I believe. So definitely I know I talked about this one, the Sultanical Slip and Slide Not Proof Hair Glide. And I do love this leave-in. You've seen me use it in the last five videos or something, so I really don't need to go into detail on it. This Blue Rose Strawberry Hibiscus leave-in is one of my favorites. It's like my second favorite Blue Rose leave-in. My favorite is actually the Coco Rose leave-in. But the ones with glycerin are the ones that I use in the spring just because I can't use them in the winter and I have them and I love them and I want to use them. This is an ingredient and you can see the ingredients are really great. And this is really moisturizing as well and has great slip and definition. It's not as moisturizing or creamy as the Coco Rose or the She Scented Coco Cream. But I do enjoy using it. I do love the scent. I, it does give me great moisture as well. So yeah, I'm done. I'm done leaving. <laughs> the rest are short. Leave it was like everything. So don't be scared. Almost done. So in terms of like butters, I'm still getting through my Camille Rose Naturals Aloe with Butter Gel and my Blue Rose Coconut Curly Custard. Those I talked about more in the last video. And yeah, I don't have any new butters to talk about just because it takes me so long to get through butters like I mentioned before. So next we get on to gels. This curls to go coiling while curls elongating gel, which is for super curly hair, but it says here just curly and wavy and has really nice ingredients. Again, I did a full review of this recently, but I love this. It really moisturized my hair. It defined my curls, like eliminated frizz, like more so than the Camille Rose and so on, and really killed the frizz. I think the Camille Rose is a bit more moisturizing, but this um, really gives you defined frizz-free curls, and it doesn't flatten out my hair. It gives me big hair, and the ingredients are clean and it's moisturizing and no crunch. This was like the big news in gels for my spring season rotation. It's like now in my top four gels. Camille Rose Curl Maker, Kinky Curly Curling Custard, Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic, Jane Carter Coiling Wall Curls. Like that's where it just went go right up to the top. Like, you know, because I don't use a lot of gels because not a lot of gels can give me moisture, no crunch, and enough hold to last a week. And of course, killing any frizz and ultra definition is a good plus. <laughs> Not gonna argue with that. I just wanted to show you my Eco Styliers. I started off with the Eco Crystal in my huge five pound, I think, jar. <laughs> and I mean, you don't really need to see the ingredients on Eco Styler, do you? But anyway, I'm mean, gonna just stick it out here. Then you saw me review the Coconut and Black Caster and Flaxseed Eco Stylers. I have a full review on these. And last but not least, my favorite Eco Styler, the Curls and Waves which is like the whole 8 Eco Styler. So I know that they have a protein Eco Styler that's also whole 8, but I heard that that one kind of is really for wash and go, so I'm trying my PJ best to leave it alone. So you saw me fully review all these Eco Stylers, but I'm just gonna briefly say something about each one. Eco Crystal, great definition, lots of crunch. Curls and waves, great definition, no crunch. Big hair. Crystal really lays me out, like if you want laid flat, if you want that look, then Crystal. These two are kind of in the middle. The flaxseed one, I had an issue with slip during applying it, so I'm not too sure about this at all. But it wasn't as crunchy as the crystal at all. It was just a little bit crunchy, a little bit too crunchy for me. So I probably won't repurchase this, but it did define my curls and everything. The coconut, this was a winner for me. It really defined my curls, didn't give me flat hair. Not super flat like the crystal anyway. And it had more hold than the curls and waves, so I can get more days out of it. The curls and waves, I do let it last a week, but it might be a bit of a struggle. Whereas this one will comfortably last a week. So that's my Eco Styler story, which you saw in full detail in my recent videos. And I'll link them all down below, giving myself work. That was pretty much it. I haven't added any spritzes, so I'm using the... Sultanicals here, Sorrel King Drink as my main spritz. I do have the Curls Lavish Moisture Spritz, which I do like, but um, the ingredients are not the best, so I'm trying to get away from it. And also the Jane Carter Leave-In Conditioner Spritz. Yeah, I do love this as well, but it also has polyquats, which kind of coats the hair, so I'm also trying to get away from it. So this one really plumps and revives my curls like nothing else. 
and this one really seals in the moisture and prevents frizz like nothing else so, and this one really hydrates my hair like nothing else so they all are great except this one is the cleanest one so this is the one i'm gonna keep using that was it that's my whole stash of the moment which focus on the new stuff that's what i've been using this spring in my hair so i hope you enjoyed this video look out for the summer version let me know what products you're using. Let me know if you use different products in different seasons. Let me know what you thought of my review. Let's talk products down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.